Illuvium has just announced the next phase. It's called the Open Beta Testnet. And now, as soon as the gates open, everybody can go to the Epic Games Store, download Illuvium Open Beta Testnet, and start playing Illuvium for free and earn those juicy airdrop points. So far, we have been in the private beta testnet. There you needed some private beta code to actually play the game, but now it's going to be open to anybody. And we're going to open the gates today, 28th of May at 9 p.m. UTC. So we're going to talk about everything you need to know about the airdrop points. So we have this blog article here from Illuvium, airdrop points explained, and we're going to go really quickly over all the details you need to know. So earn your share of the 20,000 LV in the open beta testnet. Once we go to mainnet, we're going to have 180,000 LV tokens extra that you can earn over a period of five months. But that's still a few months or at least one month away. And we're going to talk about the open beta testnet right here. So first up, Illuvial and playtime points. So if you participated in the private beta 4, you got a flat rate of 400 airdrop points for completing 4 hours of playtime. That's a flat rate and even if you played 16 hours, you're still going to get only 400 points for 4 hours of playtime. This is a little bit weird in my eyes. I think somebody who tested 300 hours in the private beta should maybe get a little bit more points than somebody who tested only 4 hours. But it is how it is and that's what we got. Open beta testnet will reward players similarly where every hour of playtime earns you 100 points. So now if you play 30 hours, you actually get 30, uh, 3,000 points. If you play 300 hours, you're going to get 30,000 points. And this is really nice. We're tracking your playtime across all the free games. So every second you spend in the Illuvium universe counts towards your rewards. And then we have a little bonus points for Illuvial collections. And this is interesting because, for example, if you capture every tier 0 Illuvial, all the lines with all three stages, you get an extra 200 points. You can do this multiple times. So if you collect two times all the tier 0 Illuvials, you get 400 points and so on. And it is the same for all the tiers. And let's take a tier 5 example. You need to capture Ador, Adorado, Adorios, Ramphi, Ramphite, Ramphire and so on. Every single tier 5 Illuvial, all three stages of that line. And then you have the collection complete. And for example, for the tier 5, you get 15,000 points. That is the equivalent to playing 150 hours for the playtime points. So this is huge and this is where you can min-max a little bit. For example, if you have all tier 1 Illuvials but you're missing a Relu, then better get that Relu so you get that 400 points extra. And yeah, you can do it multiple times. And if you capture all tier 5 Illuvials multiple times, you're going to have a lot of points and you're going to get a big airdrop. So let's talk about how airdrop points translate and how your allocation translates. So basically your points divided by the total points earned by all players times total open beta testnet airdrop allocation. Really easy calculation. Basically, if you have 1% of the total points that have been earned in the, air, uh, in the Illuvium open beta testnet, then you get 1% of the full allocation of airdrop points. If you have 10% of those points that have been earned overall, you get 10% of the airdrop allocation. And that's your share of the 20,000 for now. There will be AFK filtering, so you cannot just stand in the game AFK and get those time playing points. You actually, after 15 minutes of playing Overworld and not doing any action, you will be flagged as inactive away from keyboard AFK. And this time will not count towards your playtime points. Uh, there will be something similar in Zero, but there will be a different time for that. And they still have to figure that out after some testing and after some numbers to find the perfect number for when people should be flagged as AFK. Tracking your progress, we will get a points dashboard where you can actually look up your points, how many points you have earned already, and this will update live, but this is not here yet and it's still in development. Airdrop points and LV tokens, so your points will be converted in LV tokens. Whatever airdrop points you have, this translates directly into LV tokens, which is then your money. You can choose how long you want to lock up your Illuvium tokens. So basically, there is a mandatory lockup of six months. Here is another little blog post where this is all explained. Also, there is explained how the loyalty airdrop works. The loyalty 
Illuvium airdrop was for all the players who have been a long time in the ecosystem and who have any part in the ecosystem, right? Either staking in the sushi pool, in the LV pool, Illuvitars, Illuvium Zero Land, and the trading fees. And this loyalty airdrop is all explained here, and we're gonna talk about it in a minute. But also here is explained how the play to airdrop specifications will work out. You have a vesting schedule and you have a mandatory six months vesting, but you can extend that up to 12 months and then get a 15% bonus. So for every month you extend, you get a little bonus and then you can actually maximize your earning if you lock up for a total of 12 months. Six months is the minimum. But you can check that out yourself. I'm going to be linking it down in the description below. If this is too confusing and you want me to go over it and explain everything, feel free to let me know in the comments. But let's keep going with the main part here. And the next part is weapon, shoots and drone attachments. So this will be coming later in part two. But even if you make some weapon, shoots and drone attachment already now in the part one, I'm sure this will count towards the part two. It's not going to be reset the progress. Never again until the mainnet. That will be our last reset once the game comes out. So just play the game normally and you still need those suit and drone attachments if you want to play the game efficiently. It doesn't help you to only focus on Illuvial capturing because that's where the points come now. Because yeah, later on also all the other things will be taken into account and you need them for a good gaming experience. I have a lot of guides on my YouTube channel. I made a lot of guides already, hundreds of them. So if you want to check that out, feel free. But I'm also going to do regular new guides for beginners and experts alike. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button if you like the content. And I will promise to bring you a lot of guides on how to play the game efficiently. Last up, loyalty airdrop. We have the smart contract to align with the revised vesting schedule as detailed in the IIP 51. The audit process has been successfully completed. We're now in the final stages of internal testing and the distribution for the loyalty airdrop is scheduled for next week. I can't wait to see how much everybody gets for their loyalty airdrop. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have fun in the Illuvium open beta testnet. Everybody can download it, hit to the Epic Game Store. And yeah, feel also free if you still register for Illuvium, if this is going to be your first account. If you start out now, there's going to be my creator link in the bottom below. You can support the channel by clicking that and then going through my link to register for your account and playing the game. I hope everybody has fun in the open beta testnet. I'm going to be hopping on stream right now. I do daily Illuvium streams where I explain the game and just have fun and chill out with everybody. So feel free to check that out. We also have weekly tournaments. I also have a lot of YouTube content. So you find all the links in the description down below. If you want to stay up to date with me and the content I make around Illuvium, feel free to follow, subscribe and share the love. Thank you very much for tuning in. I see you in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.